Hi guys, it's Ryan here and I'm gonna do my first fashion haul today. I bought clothes for this summer so I guess you can call this haul whatever you wanna call it but I'm thinking back to summer haul might be working also. Anyways, I bought clothes from Uniqlo, H&M and Spao. Spao is one of a fast fashion brand in Korea just like H&M and Whatnot. And I got most of the items at Jamshil Lot Demo where I go shopping the most and I just like to go Jamshil Lot Demo cause I can do anything there like having meal, watching movie, walking around the lake so there's no wonder why I love there. Anyways, the clothes I'll show you today are mostly under $10 so I guess you can get these stuff even though you still are a student like me. I wanna start with these pants but this one is from Uniqlo and I wanna tell you how Uniqlo is in Korea quickly before moving on to this stuff. Uniqlo is the most popular clothing company in Korea and you can see the branches at almost everywhere in Seoul. It's not like everyone's favorite brand of fashion, but everyone's favorite brand to wear. I hope you guys noticed the subtle difference between both. Back to the pants, Uniqlo is calling these linen and bland shirts and I just really love this texture. It's kind of complicated to explain this but this texture helps the wind flow legs freely through so when your legs get sweaty it doesn't feel tight or trapped in moisture and yeah you can get cool and dry in the summer with this. I'm not sure I can match this well with others easily but I chose this basic nude color cause this tone is kind of a fashion trend of 2019 spring summer. I also think that I don't care about fashion but I still look nice. Look is also kind of cool in Korea so I guess this lean and style can be a perfect choice in both practical and fashion ways. By the way, I just realized that I said most items I'm showing today is under $10 but this one is actually almost 30 bucks, which is the highest price of today's clothes. But I love it, it's okay, so next. The second one I'm gonna show you is having same texture actually, but just longer and much cheaper. I know it's kind of insane that the pants I bought from Uniqlo is having very similar design, but more expensive. Getting something on internet is always the best way to have a nice deal in Korea, it's almost always better. Anyways, this is from Spao and I bought this on internet cause there isn't Spao at Jamsil. Spao is... People don't go there as much as before but I still go getting some clothes. The design here is not the best I think but the quality and price is fine, obviously. Back to the clothes. Like I said before, this is made of linen too so I'm pretty sure it won't be hard wearing this this summer even though it isn't short. And I chose this color cause I thought this is having similar color with living coral which is chosen as the color of this year by Pantone but I know it seems just brown and it actually is just brown. But I'm okay, I like it. Thanks, next. Let's move on to tops. The first top I'll show you today is this Honey Bee polo shirt from H&M. I just really love to wear polo shirts in the summer. If you are not a polo shirt lover, I know you might not get why I'm into this, but trust me, this is the easiest item to match with anything in the summer. It always give people the impression of decently dressed but not too nerdy. It is like uh, if you wear polo shirts with neat or tidy pants properly, it will make you look like a business major but if you wear that with like sporty style pants, it will make you look like a freelance drama writer who's going to a cafe to write the new script of certain reasons why definitely. Anyways, I bought this cause it was cheap to be honest but I guess I can at least wear this when I wanna show that I'm supporting Honeybee's lives or something I guess. And next. This half sleeve shirt is from H&M also, it was $17 and I think it's worth it. I mean, when I just bought this and came home, my sister was like, Oh, I forgot you're going on trip or something, right? And I was like, I know somebody might think it's too much with these patterns and yeah, I usually don't wear the like tops having too many designs on them, but I thought this tone is kind of decent, right? Regardless of this, I'm going on honeymoon feeling. Anyways, uh, having more and more patterns of flower or plants is trending in Korean now, so I'm thinking it would make a good match with the pants I showed before, like these veggie shirts and white t-shirts inside, and yeah, I like it, and yeah, I love it 3000, buddy. Next items are these last ones I treated myself with. I bought two character shirts from Uniqlo cause there was sale that giving me two shirts on just 20 bucks. I bought my Rio ones even though there were like hundreds of different character shirts like Lego and Mickey Mouse. 
So yes, it took time to pick which t-shirts I would get and the first winner who made Lion's Splurge is... Ta-da! It seems like the Mario here is chasing another Mario which doesn't have his whole head. When I saw this first time, I was like, oh, I take this. But since after I found out he doesn't have complete head, I was confused. But I still wear it. I still like this color anyways. And this is another one and it actually is saying like you totally failed but it's adorable, right? I usually like to wear bright color shirts in summer but this is actually saying like you totally failed. And I like mean things. So how could I have left him alone, right? And that's it. So I hope you guys could get some looks and idea for this summer by this video. And I didn't want this video to be too long, but also wanted to explain diverse things. So I couldn't put more clothes inside, but I can try making separate video or places to shop in Seoul, all the clothing brand Korean wares, if you wonder. So comment on this hopefully and giving me a like or pressing the subscribe button would really help me shoot the next video. And See you.